Ethernet over twisted pair technologies use twisted pair cables for the physical layer of an Ethernet computer network. Early Ethernet cabling had generally been based on various grades of coaxial cable, but in 1984, Starland showed the potential of simple unshielded twisted pair by using CAT3 cable or Euro the same simple cable used for telephone systems. This led to the development of 10 base T and its successes 100 base TX and 1000 base T, supporting speeds of 10, 100 and 1000 Mbit S respectively. Often the higher speed implementations support the lower speed standards making it possible to mix different generations of equipment. With the inclusive capability designated 10 100 or 100 1000 for connections that support such combinations. All these three standards support both full duplex and half duplex communication. The higher speed 10 GBASET running at 10 Gbit S is different in that it defines only full duplex point to point links which are generally connected by network switches and doesn't support the traditional shared medium CSMA CD operation. All these standards use 8P8C connectors, and the cables from CAT3 to CAT7 have four pairs of wires. Though 10 base T and 100 base TX only require two of the pairs. A 40 GB ASET standard, transporting 40 Gbit S over up to 30 AM CAT8 cable is being defined as P802.3 BQ. History the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Standards Association ratified several versions of the technology. The first two early designs were Starlan, standardized in 1986, at 1 megabit per second, and LatticeNet, developed in January 1987, at 10 megabit per second. Both were developed before the 10 base T standard, and both were not compatible with it. Using twisted pair cabling, in a star topology, for Ethernet addressed several weaknesses of the previous standards, twisted pair cables could be used more generally and were already present in many office buildings, lowering overall cost. The centralized star topology was a more common approach to cabling than the bus in earlier standards and easier to manage. Using point-to-point -point links instead of a shared bus greatly simplified troubleshooting and was less prone to failure. Exchanging cheap repeater hubs for more advanced switching hubs provided a viable upgrade path. Mixing different speeds in a single network became possible with the arrival of fast Ethernet. Naming, the common names for the standards derive from aspects of the physical media. The leading number refers to the transmission speed in bit s. Base denotes that baseband transmission is used. The T designates twisted pair cable where the pair of wires for each signal is twisted together to reduce radio frequency interference and crosstalk between pairs. Where there are several standards for the same transmission speed, they are distinguished by a letter or digit following the T, such as TX. Cabling Twisted pair Ethernet standards are such that the majority of cables can be wired straight through, but others may need to be wired in the crossover form. It is conventional to wire cables for 10 or 100 Mbit S Ethernet to either the T568A or T568B standards. Since these standards differ only in that they swap the positions of the two pairs used for transmitting and receiving, a cable with T568A wiring at one end and T568B wiring at the other is referred to as a crossover cable. The terms used in the explanations of the 568 standards, tip and ring, refer to older communication technologies, and equate to the positive and negative parts of the connections. A 10 base T or 100 base TX node such as a PC, with a connector called medium-dependent interfaces, transmits on pin 1 and 2 and receives on pin 3 and 6 to a network device using a straight-through cable. In order for two network devices or two nodes to communicate with each other a crossover cable is often required at speeds of 10 or 100 Mbit s. If available, connections can be made with a straight-through cable by means of an MDIX port, also known as an internal crossover, or embedded crossover connection. Hub and switch ports with such internal crossovers are usually labeled as such, with upper link, or X. For example, 3Com usually labels their ports 1X, 2X, and so on. In some cases a button is provided to allow a port to act as either a normal or an upper link port. 
many modern Ethernet host adapters can automatically detect another computer connected with a straight-through cable and then automatically introduce the required crossover, if needed. If neither of the adapters has this capability, then a crossover cable is required. Most newer switches have automatic crossover on all ports, eliminating the upper link port and the MDI-MDIX switch, and allowing all connections to be made with straight-through cables. If both devices being connected support 1000 base T according to the standards, they will connect regardless of the cable being used or how it is wired. A 10 base T transmitter sends two differential voltages, plus 2.5 AV or a 2.5 AV, 100 base TX follows the same wiring patterns as 10 base T, but is more sensitive to wire quality and length, due to the higher bit rates. A 100 base TX transmitter sends three differential voltages, plus 1 AV, 0 AV, or a 1 AV, 1000 base T uses all four pairs bidirectionally and as standard includes auto MDIX. However, implementation is optional. With the way that 1000 base T implements signaling, how the cable is wired is immaterial in actual usage. The standard on copper twisted pair is IEEE 802.3 AB for CAP5 EUTP, or 4D PAM5. Four dimensions using PAM with five voltages, a 2 AV, a 1 AV, 0 AV, plus 1 AV, and plus 2 AV while plus 2 AV to a 2 AV voltage may appear at the pins of the line driver. The voltage on the cable is nominally plus 1 AV, plus 0.5 AV, 0 AV, a 0.5 AV and a 1 AV, 100 base TX and 1000 base T were both designed to require a minimum of category 5 cable and also specify a maximum cable length of 100 meters. Category 5 cable has since been deprecated and new installations use Category 5E. Unlike earlier Ethernet standards using broadband and coaxial cable, such as 10BASE5 and 10BASE2, 10BASE-T does not specify the exact type of wiring to be used, but instead specifies certain characteristics that a cable must meet. This was done in anticipation of using 10 base T in existing twisted pair wiring systems that may not conform to any specified wiring standard. Some of the specified characteristics are attenuation, characteristic impedance, timing jitter, propagation delay, and several types of noise. Cable testers are widely available to check these parameters to determine if a cable can be used with 10 base T. These characteristics are expected to be met by 100 meters of 24-gauge unshielded twisted pair cable. However, with high-quality cabling, cable runs of 150 meters or longer are often obtained and are considered viable by most technicians familiar with the 10 base T specification. Shared cable 10 base T and 100 base TX only require two pairs to operate. Since category 5 cable has four pairs, it is possible but not necessarily standards compliant, to use the spare pairs in 10 and 100 Mbit S configurations. The spare pairs may be used for power over Ethernet, or two phone lines, or a second 10 base T or 100 base TX connection. In practice, great care must be taken to separate these pairs as most 10s hubs, switches, and PCs electrically terminate the unused pins. Moreover, 1000 base T requires all four pairs to operate. Auto negotiation and duplexed mismatch. Many different modes of operations exist for Ethernet over twisted pair, and most network adapters are capable of different modes of operation. 1000 base T requires auto negotiation to be on in order to operate. When two linked interfaces are set to different duplex modes, the effect of this duplex mismatch is a network that functions much more slowly than its nominal speed. Duplex mismatch may be inadvertently caused when an administrator configures an interface to a fixed mode and fails to configure the remote interface, leaving it set to auto-negotiate. Then, when the auto-negotiation process fails, half-duplex is assumed by the auto-negotiating side of the link. Variants, see also, 25-pair color code, Copper Cable Certification, Ethernet Physical Layer, Ethernet Extender, Fast Ethernet, 100 Mbit S, IEEE 802.3, Network Isolator, Power Over Ethernet, Twisted Pair, 
Notes. References. Further reading, IEEE 802.3 Standards Documents, External Links, How to Make a Network Cable, A How-To Article from WikiHow, How to Create Your Own Ethernet Cables, How to Wire a 10 Base T or 100 Base T Connector with Category 5 Cable and 8P8C Modular Connectors, Step-by-Step -step Instructions on How to Punch Down Category 5 E Cable to a J45. How to make a crossover patch cable using CAT5E or CAT6 and RJ45.